Welcome. Are you looking for a simple and effective tool to manage leave and attendance in your company? Would you like to get automated instant reports with a click of a button to know the capacity and availability of your team? I have good news for you. My name is Dinesh Natarajan Mohan and I publish templates on Zara.com. In today's video, I will provide a simple way to get instant reports about capacity and availability of your team using our leave dashboard power bi template solution before i go further let me explain how this setup works the solution includes two files one is an excel file and the other one is a power bi file you input data about employees and their leave in excel and then the reports will be visualized in power bi and we will do a one-time simple setup to connect the Power BI file to the Excel file. And after that, anytime when you update the data in Excel, you can open the Power BI file and just hit the refresh button and it will generate instant reports for you. So now let's take a look at the Excel file to see what data needs to be input. So now here we are in Excel and in the setting sheet you can customize the list of values for a lot of the attributes that we use in our solution for example the location of your offices the department names the type of jobs categories of jobs job levels job titles and also you can customize which days of the week are weekends in your organization and then also you can customize the different types of leave that you want to track and you can also assign a symbol for each. You can enter your list of holidays in your company. We can move on to the employees sheet where you enter all the employees in your company. If you have new employees joining, you will continue to add them to this employee sheet. This is where you can enter when the employee started working at your company. You can enter their attributes like which location, which department they're working in, what is their job title and all that information. When an employee changes their profile in some way, for example, if the employee gets promoted or if the employee moves from one team to another, one location to another, all those changes, you can enter them in the employee updates sheet. When an employee decides to leave the company, you will record that in the exits table. And here you will enter the name of the employee, the date when the exit happens or the termination happens, the type of exit, and then the reason for exit also. This is how you can manage your employee data as it changes over time. And finally, we have the leave sheet. The leave sheet is where you will record the leave that is being planned by your employee. And so, for example, you will enter the name of the uh, employee. You can enter the start and the end date for the leave and then you can choose the type of leave from the drop down this is all you need to do to enter the data needed for effective leave tracking and reporting once we have entered the data in excel now it's time to go and take a look at our output which is in power bi so this is our home screen where you will have a list of the reports that you have on the left and you have some key metrics visually displayed here. You can also change these metrics time frame, whether if I want to look at the last 12 months, if I want to look at only last six months, I can just type six and hit enter. And now I can see that the numbers have changed. So this is how it is very interactive and dynamic reporting. And then we can go into each of the reports. I'm going to go to the availability report first. The availability report shows the certain key metrics such as how, what is the total capacity that you have within your team? What is the total number of leave days that have been taken by the team? And then the availability percentage. And all of this is automated. And you can see on the right side, we have some filters. This is showing the last 12 months of data. And I can change this to say, you know, show me only last eight months of data. I'm going to hit eight. 
and now you will see it reflects the last eight months of data and the filters are also available for departments so right now we are only looking at the IT department um, you can also look at accounting department and now you'll see that the numbers are changing instantly for that specific department so you can use this uh, overseeing all the departments in your company uh, and or if you want to just implement for one department you can do that also and you can filter them by job category job level and all that and uh, here we can visually see which days of the week are holidays in our company saturdays and sundays um, and then for each of the months you will know how how many days in the are there in the calendar for that month what is the number of working days how many holidays uh, how many people did we have in the company as headcount at the beginning and the ending and total capacity in man days leave and available capacity so out of the total capacity if you take out the leave then you have the available capacity and then we can calculate the availability percentage the bottom chart shows the total capacity month over month uh, visually so you can see the trend now let's go back home by clicking the button here and now we can go into the availability trends report this report is is only basing only showing only one metric which is the availability percentage but it also shows them by department over time for example the accounting department month over month how has their availability percentage changed so you can identify certain patterns if a certain department is improving its availability or actually worsens then you can identify those patterns and then have the necessary conversations to understand the reasons and course correct if needed. You have the filters on the right side again. I'm gonna go back to the home page, and then we can go to the next report, which is monthly capacity. So the monthly capacity report, as the name indicates, is designed to plan for one month at a time. So you can actually choose the month on the top right side here. Here I have chosen February 2022. So what this means is that if I want to know the total capacity that I will have available, let's say I am the leader of this team, then I can actually look at, let's for example, imagine this is January and February is next month. Then I can actually plan how much cap projects I can pick up based on how much capacity I'm going to have in my team. So if we have already entered the leave planned by my team members in the Excel file, then this report gives you total capacity that will be available, right? So out of the total capacity, how much is available and what is the availability percentage? That is what this report shows. And you can actually see by each day, each day, what is the total capacity? How many leaves are being taken? Um, let me just maybe pick another month here, May. So here you can, I have a lot of leave uh, days by my employees and I can see the total um, capacity for each day and then the available capacity for each day. And once again, you can filter it by department. I have filtered it by IT. You can change it for any other department or you can look at only full-time employees versus uh, part-time employees or you can look at, let's say for example here, full-time or part-time or you can look at a specific category of jobs again fully fully interactive here you see the all the employees are taking uh, leave and then the specific uh, leave uh, dates for that month alone now let's go back to the home page again to look at the last report which is an employee leave report again as the name indicates this is for one employee at a time and you can choose the employee from the drop down menu here and then you will see that specific employee each month, how many days have they taken leave, how many days um, have they been available, and all of this is automatically calculated for that specific employee. At the bottom, you will see how many days um, did the employee take time off for each of the type of leaves. So in this case, the employee has taken eight days of leave, um, under sick day leave type and you can see the actual eight days listed here as well and one thing to note here is that if an employee takes leave over a weekend 
then the date will still be listed here. However, when we count the number of leave, um, only the days which are not weekends or holidays will get counted as leave. The leave calculation also takes into account what are weekends in your company, which days are holidays. It automatically factors those in when it calculates the leave days. And this is the final report. So now I have the same Power BI file opened in Power BI desktop. As you can see here, the main reports look the same. However, I have a lot more additional menu options. This is great. If you know a little bit of Power BI, you can actually customize this to suit your own needs. You can create more and more report pages according to your needs. But let me just show you one simple thing just to tell you what functionality or capabilities are there. Uh, this is not a video where I'm going to go deep into how you can create your own reports in Power BI. So here you on the right side, you will see the metric library. These are the metrics that are available for you to create your own customized reports. For example, in this view, I am, I am not showing any headcount, for example, here. So let's say I want to show the ending headcount instead of the number of holidays. So I can click on this tile and I can now change. I can now look at the holidays being pulled in here. Instead, I'm going to drag and drop headcount. And now you see that I have headcount displayed. This is all it is for you to customize this report according to your needs using the readily built metrics. And you will also have all these columns available if you want to create your own reports. And now this template solution, the leave dashboard Power BI template is available to download from inzara.com. And we also have step-by-step -step guide uh, available in our support portal. You'll get links to all that. If you have any questions about the functionality of this template, please put those questions in the comment section below. And if you would like a customized version of this developed just for you, you can email us at support at inzara.com. I look forward to your feedback. I'll see you soon in another video. Thank you so much for watching.